So in this video, we are going to talk about how to add a digital product. So in the last video, we talked, we added a physical product, which is a product that people will be sent, like it's an actual item um, that will have like shipping costs, delivery costs, or any kind of collection uh, options, things like that. Whereas a digital item, it can be um, in the form of a PDF or it can be an image and it'll basically be a downloadable product. Once someone successfully purchases it, they will automatically get a copy of it either in their uh, inbox or in their account page, things like that. So once you're logged in, you want to come into products here and then click add product. And instead of physical, you're going to click digital. And the setup is same as the physical product. So the first thing you're going to add is the product title. So for example, if it's a uh, brownie recipe, um, that'll be the name of the product. And then you want to actually upload the file. So this is the file that they will, that they're actually purchasing. Um, so they'll get it, the links to their digital product in the thank you page, as well as by email. So if you click upload products, so you can choose what kind of file that you want to upload, either if it's an image, um, if it's image, then it's, uh, you have to either upload a JPEG, PNG, or GIF. Um, audio files, um, these are the audio files that are supported. So WAV files, FLAC, M4A, MP3, things like that. And then documents, you've got a range of doc document formats, formats, things like doc, docx, um, Excel sheets, PowerPoint, uh, PDF, things like that. And then you've got a zip file. So if there's um, a folder filled with lots of things, you can save it as a zip and then upload that. But basically you just want to uh, upload whatever it is and then I just click upload media to open up your file explorer. You can either upload from your computer um, or you can upload from um, Google Drive, things like that. And you just want to upload the uh, product as normal. So once it's uploaded, um, you should see it in your site files. And I'm just up here and then you just want to select that and just click add to products. So that's the um, link here. That's the um, file essentially. So they'll receive the links to download their digital products in the thank you page along with an email link that will last for 30 days. So as uh, previously, so you just want to continue adding the product information. So things like the name, which will automatically be taken in the uh, top part here from the title and then the ribbon. So this is just a, a bit of text basically that'll go on top of the image to kind of draw more attention to the product. If it's, for example, a sale item or a new item um, that you want to put a lot more focus on, this kind of ribbon will be attached to the image and then it'll just draw a bit more focus on that. Then you want to give it an image. so. Um, just a bit more information as to what they're downloading. Um, and then you can also add images if there's any images to go with it. Maybe images of the final product if it's um, like a recipe or something to build. Um, so you can add sort of different images like that. And then you want to add sort of additional info in, in, info sections. Additional info can be things like um, how to use the product, how to download the product, um, product instructions, things like that. It'll, um, it's basically more information about the product that you don't want to get lost within the product description. So you can add info section here and it can be um, how to use product. And then you can add the uh, actual description here. And that way you're adding some more text that's about a specific topic about the product and it's not getting lost in the main, main product description. And then you can set pricing. So this can be just a normal kind of pricing or you can set it on sale. That way, whenever, if you set it as an on sale product, it'll show up as a sale product. It'll be a bit more um, eye catching. And then you can set the actual sale product here. So if you want to give it a price discount or percentage discount, um, it's up to you. Um, this field will kind of automatically change itself. So if you want to give it a price discount, this will change um, automatically. If it's a percentage discount, um, you can see the price kind of change automatically. Same with the cost of goods. So this is essentially the cost of your goods, um, but this won't be shown on the product page or to any of the customers. It'll only be shown to yourself. It's just a good way to kind of keep you right and you know how much product or profit you're making on each product. These two fields fill in by themselves once you fill in the cost of goods. 
So I fill in the cost of goods as two, so it's automatically calculated the product and the, the profit and the margin. So it's gonna it's a good way to kind of keep that reporting um, feature on your products, but then um, it's not going to be shown to your customers in any way. It's just going to be shown to yourself. And then you can track inventory. So if you only want the products to be downloaded um, a certain number of times, you can set sort of like an in-stock um, or you can track inventory. If we set that to 50, then that means only this product can only be purchased 50 times um, and things like that. You can set a shipping weight. However, this won't be necessary for a f digital product as there's no shipping costs involved. Um, and the last thing then you just want to collect, uh, you just want to put it in a collection. So for example, this would be maybe eBooks, um, but you can assign it to more than one collection. So for example, if there's another collection, um, we can set it to downloadables. And you can see I've assigned that product to two different um, categories. We can change it to another category as well. So we've got three different categories. Um, so you can assign it to more than one collection and then it'll show on specifically that collections page. And just like the physical products, if you ever want to come back to a product and not publish it immediately, we will just uncheck this show in online store section and just click save. And that way it won't show in the online store. It'll just show in the back end and you can always come back to it, fix any uh, details, add more details that you need to add. And then once it's actually ready, you can click show in online store and then just click save. You'll be redirected back to the products dashboard and you'll be able to see your product um, show up as the first option just right over here. Yep, so you can see the image, um, you can see the title and things like that. And you can also see the type. So you can see that it's a digital product and not a physical one. Um, if, you ever, if you've ever got lots of products on your page, it might be easier to kind of filter between the products. So if you're looking for, if the product you're looking for, you know, is a digital product, you can just filter by digital product. Um, and also you can filter by whether they're hidden from store, shown in store, or the actual inventory of it all. Um, but that's it. Once you're done, then you would just click um, OK and then just add all the products as you need to, um, whether they're physical or digital. Um, it's all added very similarly. It's just up to you how you want to add those products, basically.